There's a super strong build that I don't see a lot of people rocking in the backpack battle space. In my opinion, it's one of those underground builds that could become one of the best builds in the game if popularized. Let me introduce you guys to the Critting Blood Goober. Feel free to try this build out for yourself, and I hope you guys enjoy. <clears throat> All right, I'm doing my favorite build to lift my spirits a little bit. So, first thing we need is thorns, okay? We need thorns, and we need a lot of thorns, right? So, we're going to reroll. Um, I'm going to get some food while I'm at it. Just because food is good for you and you know i saw a broom earlier i should have probably bought it because i also want a shovel because i need a shovel and we're probably not going to get a shovel but i think that we should buy and we should buy the healing and there's some thorns and there's a shovel so next round we should be good let's turn this like so add a little bit of that i have a little bit of regeneration in there and let's get started Let's see what we got. So, dude's got a shovel and he's also got a wooden buckler. We should definitely win this. Uh, I think the pan will more than likely out DPS dude here. Uh, yeah, look at him. Look at him. Oh, yeah, for sure. Right? Yeah, we're good. We're good. He's not doing enough damage to us with our banana and our regeneration to even take us out. So, we take that one home and we can get ourselves a shovel. Now, I'm not one of those double shovel looking guys, okay? I'm, I'm just going to rock single shovel, right? Because I have, you know... I have dignity, okay? So we're not gonna rock the double shovel. I definitely need you. That's gonna be super duper important. And um, I could also get the carrot because carrot, I feel like couldn't be pretty solid early. So we'll also do that and see how this goes. Okay, so dude's got the pen, he's got the sword. Um, this might be a little bit closer. I don't think we're gonna have enough stamina to rock this broom plus the pan. So we'll probably run out of stamina pretty quickly. Um, but we do have do got the garlic not combined with our banana should have probably fixed that but we still take him down surprisingly I, I was not expecting that but i'm happy about it so i'll definitely take that win let's go ahead and buy you buy you and now we can actually combine these two into some sort of fashion like so and we could put our thorns down and then we also have a regeneration and we got some money left over to buy some things we also need another thorns and we're gonna buy this since it's on sale and we'll just get the thorns next round and the only thing we're mixing now is some hands. We need hands and we need goober. This guy's got the dagger with the sword with a broom. He's definitely got more healing than we do. Um, so that's a thing. But we should still take him down just because we have the shovel putting on some blind on him. Um, and yeah, we should definitely... Yeah, we should win this. Hell yeah. I'll take that. Let's get ourselves some more thorns. And let's roll here. Do I need another thorns? um honestly i'm not too sure but i'd say it's probably better safe than sorry potentially unless i can reroll and get myself some hands which i think i'm gonna reroll and try to get myself some hands which we don't do but we do get uh this which is on sale and we also get ourselves a fanny pack which i will definitely use that put that in there and we could just put our thorns anywhere we want we can reserve that because who doesn't want to buy a leather bag for two gold this guy's got a lot of garlic that is like he's got what i have just better literally he's got exactly what i have just better the only thing he doesn't have is probably the two regeneration but i don't think that's gonna matter considering this man's got four garlics and he's got a carrot so our blind doesn't matter his blind doesn't either since we also sense. have a carrot i can feel the but uh this is probably nah we're not we're definitely not taking a w here he's he's just got too much defense for us to, to pierce through good game though um let's go ahead and buy that and do we need the lucky clover i'll buy yes we do actually need the. i'll buy the lucky clover we need the lucky clover um don't need anything there i will buy the fanny pack because who doesn't buy the fanny pack right everyone loves a fanny pack we oh there we go we needed those hands definitely need those hands um let's see what should we do here let's move that there put that there put that there and then we could just put the clovers anywhere we want honestly this got a pig just so we can save some space and get gold on top of that and we'll just rock those wherever we want them to and next round we should be pretty solid this guy's got the goober that's something we want he's got another pan with four foods on it so he's gonna definitely be out healing us for sure but i mean we do have spikes so that's a thing this is looking to be kind of close he's got the goober though so he's definitely out healing us which is gonna suck but look at it it's it's definitely close it's definitely close we got seven blind on him so he's not gonna be hitting us because they're gonna be missing and we take that home that was a close one that was a close one another thing on sale we got enough money he's going to buy everything that's there 
Um, and we don't need anything there. And of course, we're definitely going to be buying a fanny pack. So, and you know what? Let's get the leather armor as well. I think that would come in handy. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some claws. Um, and we can get ourselves a lucky pig. And we could put this, um, let's put it there. Just so it can combine with the banana and the carrot. And that's looking pretty solid. We'll take that. Honest. Well, now we got enough space. I was going to reserve that other uh, leather bag, but we have enough space. So we don't really need to reserve it. So this guy's got a falcon blade. He could have probably moved this over to put his falcon blade inside with the sword. But I mean, we still took an L there, mainly because of the falcon blade. It's just really, really good. He got that early, early on, too. And it looks like he's going for another one. He's got a double whetstone with the sword. And he's already got a gloves of haste. He's probably going to go for a double falcon blade. I mean, that's what I would do personally if i was that lucky already um let's get the piercing arrow and boom boom got a little bit of money left over we can roll here don't need any of this roll again there we go now we can get ourselves doubled up on the claws um let's get ourselves another one of those and what do we do with this what should we do with this let's um i'm thinking Let's let's play this. Let's play around with it just a little bit. I want to see if this will actually work here. Which uh, boom, right? And just hear me out. Hear me out. I know it's gonna look weird at first, right? But it's okay. We can rock that. Like uh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And if we can turn that around, can point this towards the shovel because that's the only thing it's going to support anyways, besides the garlic. But I think it will be better if I were to just point it towards the shovel. And, and boom and then uh just an extra garlic put that there boom move that towards the shovel to make that a little bit faster and then everything else we could just put anywhere we want just like that i think that's um yeah i think that's pretty solid let's go ahead and start it we really need a goobert though that i know we need one of those that's what we need we need one of those for sure this dude's got double hero sword double dagger one of the daggers a cursed dagger he's got the flying arlock but he's also got the poison goober we do have healing and we also have cleanse so i mean we have something co to combat the poison but we definitely don't have a lot that is for damn sure but i mean we're already doing a lot more damage to him than he's doing to us but he is going to catch up because of that poison but i don't know if he's going to catch up fast enough he might just die before he does oh oh one one health he caught up just in time that is insane he was really really close really really close but let's go ahead and buy that get the fanny pack can i get a goober please i would love i would absolutely just love to get a goober right now let's put this let's put this here move that over just so we can have a little bit more speed on our claws just because and uh we could just put the poison on one of them doesn't really matter where we could also get this guy just to get it because it's on self or just one move that around a little bit do a little bit something like that i think it'll be better um and yeah let's go ahead and start that hopefully we can win this one so we're gonna get some falcon blade with double toe pass on it so it's 20 percent faster and then we also got a shovel triple bananas a little bit of luck and he's got the mana but the main thing i'm worried about is that strong healing potion which is gonna suck when it when he gets below 50 percent health which it looks like we're out dpsing him which is really really good but as soon as he gets below that 50 percent health that potion is gonna go off and now we're tied but i still oh we're actually super tied hold up now 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 we're good we're good we're good we're fine we're fine we're fine everything's fine um do i even need oh, yeah I, I got space i got slots so let's keep it we can move this here right and move move just like that go ahead and buy the fanny pack can i get a goobert game i would love absolutely love just uh, oh my gosh the game doesn't want to give me a goobert which is really bad goobert i need the goobert and i need it now <laughs> it's my goobert and i need it now um let's move you here i suppose just for no reason honestly um and ooh. We uh, I'll take the hands and I'll take the uh, I'll take the protective purse as well. The game doesn't want to give us a goober. I'm sad because of it, but we still might be able to take this home. We're going to get to do with a spear hella slots in front of it. He's got the Falcon blade with the hero sword. It's a pretty solid build, but I think we're just going to out DPS him pretty easily. All right, bye. And I don't have enough. Well, actually, yeah, I do. I got enough for the protective purse, which is nice. I do want to roll. 
Okay, we got another one of those. I like those. I like those. We definitely need them. Um, let's get ourselves a vampiric armor. We can use the hands on the shovel, and then we'll just rock that just wherever we want it. And we'll just we'll just keep everything the same for now. Um, until we get the goober. The day we get the goobers, the day we roll. And this guy's gonna have hella armor. 155 right off the back. He's got triple armor, which is insane. This looks like a fatigue build if I've ever seen one. He's got Mr. Struggles. He's got the magic style, but he doesn't have any source of mana regeneration. So this is probably not going to be doing that much damage to us. And he's got double healing potions with the flying Arlick. He doesn't have that many things inside to give him um, to give us poison. And we do have the carrot to cleanse the poison that we're already getting put on. So as far as DPS goes, this guy isn't doing that much to us, uh, to be honest. He's got one chance to regenerate stamina. Don't know why he's doing that. And he's got the corrected crystal, which on debuffs, he's gaining even more shield, but he's just not doing as much DPS and he definitely does not have enough uh, shield in order to wait until fatigue till we die. So I think we're just going to take that one home. A nice little W. Boom. Let's go ahead and get this. I think I'm going to save that for, um, I'm, I'm going to save this for um, the squishy dude. Forgot his name that fast. Don't know how, but we're saving it for the squishy dude. I say re-roll here. I did want to get that leather pouch, but I, 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 there we go. Finally, we got the Gooby, which is really, really good. And it's on sale, which is even better. So the game loves us just a little bit, just a little bit. And let's move this all the way down. Put that there. Um, we can rotate it just so we can get some form of activation from the claws. I don't want to re rearrange anything just yet. I might lose because of that, but feeling a little bit lazy. So we're not going to re-roll anything until we actually can get the blood goober. And then we can just put everything the way it is start the game um should we get anything here though uh, i don't think we should per se let's get the pouch just in case because we're gonna need space anyways um oh we're gonna get someone it looks a little bit similar but definitely not the same yeah i saw the vampiric armor and i thought it was similar um but dude's got the mana thirst with the falcon blade he's got the mana ore for the activations which he's activating from the spike shield with the flute so he's definitely gonna was it 20 or 10 is 20 so as soon as he gets 20 we're gonna be taking a little bit or a lot of damage honestly it looks like he might be out dpsing us as well oh maybe a little this is actually kind of close we got we got a little bit of blind on but he's putting poison on us at the same time our crit's getting up there so we should be critting a lot yep 10 20 there we go there goes the 20 mana is he gonna hit us yet with the 20 mana hello mr uh, mana thirst Maybe he already, maybe he already activated. I actually don't know. I wasn't even, I wasn't even looking at it, but it looks like we might be out DPSing him. We might be taking this one home. Unless Manathurst comes out of nowhere, but nope, it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, we're definitely taking this one home. That was a good game. Good game, my friend. Um, Boom, Blood Goober. Let's buy that. Let's also buy the Acorn because that is super important because our build just became overpowered. Let's so re-roll, get the purse for the sake of gaining the purse. Reserve that. Okay, so let's do this. Boom. Let's tilt this over like so. We're going to put the blood goober right in the middle, just like that. And we're going to be putting this on the side with that. Um, let's put one of those big bad boys up there. And of course, our acorns need to be hitting the goober because the goober is going to be doing insane amounts of damage, my friends. Insane amounts of damage. And uh, I should honestly, I could I could sell the shovel at this point just to get some money i could i'm considering it we'll wait next round if we notice that our um our items are being like uh out of stamina then we're definitely gonna be selling the shovel um for sure and let's put this guy just like so vampire armor can really just go anywhere so i'm just gonna free up a little bit of space here honestly i think i have yeah i, I got enough yeah we could just free up a fanny pack and we could just put the vampire armor up there just for the sake of putting it up there and um let's move this over get a free fanny pack move the gloves right there and now i think the only thing we need to really organize is all the miscellaneous stuff along with food um which should be pretty easy we could use the food for the activation of the other side of the uh of the blood goober just because why not i mean it's food so we can <laughs> i eventually i want to sell it but for now it'll it'll be fine it'll be fine boom and um damn um we could do a little bit something like this just like that and then the last garlic can just go up there for the sake of having the last garlic and then we just have a shovel we could just put the shovel anywhere we want 
and then we'll put the rocks down all of this down all of this stuff that we just happen to have and uh let's start so we're gonna get someone dude's got the hungry blade with the hero sword with the claws of attack he's generating thorns looks like he's got a little bit of crit on him a um, little bit of luck a little bit, of, a little interesting, that's for sure. Um, I don't think it's better than us, though, as you can see. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just, I don't think it's better than us. We're definitely taking this one home for sure. 100% chance. Unless, oh, yeah, he was gaining health because of his potions. I didn't even see that at first. I was like, hold up now. He's getting a little bit too much health back, but yeah, definitely because of the potions. But um, we're definitely taking this home. We're still getting a regeneration, or, or we're still getting shield from my vampiric armor. Got vampirism going, and he's dead. Nice little W. And we got another one. What should we use this one? I mean, we could use it on the uh, Vampire Gloves. Why not? Make them a little bit better. Get ourselves a little bit more vampirism as well. So I consider that a W all around. Buy all of that. And um, yeah, let's start it. I think that's solid. Got a pretty solid build going on so far. That's a lot of potions. Excuse me. He's also got the fencing rapier. Okay. With the Vampire Gloves, a little bit of thorns, a lot of food. And uh, he's also got the Claws of Attack with double Degen Lamp. This will be an interesting one, actually. There's a, I haven't seen a lot of people rocking the Rapier. I think this is my second time seeing someone wrap the Rapier. And every time, the second time, double Degen Lamp's on him. Which is interesting. But I never see them activate to give that plus 70, uh, 27 damage. So he, it looks like he's rocking around 23, 29. But I think the battle is pretty much over. I don't think he's going to be able to 25, 31 now. Okay, interesting. But yeah. That's a nice little W. Let us continue. Let's see how far we can get. I'm actually going to buy this, I believe. The Shield of Valor. I, I'm, I'm, I'm digging the Shield of Valor, I believe. Let me think about it a little bit. Yeah, I'm getting it. We'll get it. And we'll put it right there on the Goobert. Um, rotate that. Give that a little bit higher chance of activating. So 35%. I think it's like... 40 something or something like that so that'd be good and then we could just put our carrot down and uh put the food pretty much wherever we want just like so and let's re-roll um the only thing i really want now is just more acorns that's really all i want just more acorns maybe more um vampiric gloves as well anything that pretty much gives us vampirism that's pretty much what i want honestly we could even get the wooden buckler here just for that 30% chance to proc, that's all I care about is the 35% chance to proc. I don't really care about anything else. Just that 35% chance proc. So let me see if I can actually fit this in there somehow in order to get that 35% chance to proc, which uh, we could just do this, I suppose. And we can sell the banana Buy this. And I honestly did not mean to buy that. I meant to buy this. <laughs> I meant to buy you. Um, crap. Eh, we're fine. There we go. Now we got a double chance to proc. Well, not double chance, but 35% chance for both of those to activate the goober a little bit more. I wish I had more claws of attack to put on this side. I think that would have been better, but eh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. So we're going to get... Oh, this guy stuck with the shields and was like, I'm just going to add a bunch of food. So he's got triple... Yeah, triple pineapples. That is a lot of thorns, my friend. Triple pineapples, double shovel. So our blind is going to be a problem. But most of our damage, believe it or not, is actually coming from the blood goobert. So I don't think accuracy even matters. Even if these don't hit him, I mean, it helps. But even if it doesn't hit him, I still think we're going to take this home. We already got 100 shield, which is crazy, actually. We're gaining... We're actually getting a lot of shield, surprisingly. Um, interesting. Just realize this guy is generating mana. He's got three mana books, so that might be a problem. I don't know if he's going to generate enough to use all three of them before the battle even ends. I mean, fatigue is already kicking in. Um, he's only got five so far. Literally only five. And these need ten. So, uh, I mean, if it does activate at the last minute and saves him, that is, that is an option, I guess. But I don't think it will. Yeah, I don't think it will at all. He's way too low in health. Yep, there we go. Another W. Thank you very much. And let's buy... Oh, wow. What in the luck did I just witness? We literally got a walrus tusk from the shovel and then got a gloves of haste in the shop. The game wants us to... The game wants us to succeed. The game wants us to succeed. Um, and we got another acorns. We're going to need this, this, and honestly, we're going to need you as well. 
And let's, um, let's take it, let's just bring it over here. Do a nice little combination. Thank you very much. And we can get rid of this. I don't need you anymore. Get some luck in there as well. And, um, you get rid of one of the rocks for some blind. I value rocks over blind, apparently. Uh, and yeah, I think, uh, I mean, we maybe we could get another one. We could sell the wooden buckler. And possibly, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll just start it. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll reserve it. I'm gonna just buy it just to buy it because you never know, right? You never know. Maybe we'll get another Gloves of Haste and we could just use that and uh, get more procs on our Blood Goober because our Blood Goober is doing the damage anyways. Now this guy, this might be a little close. He's rocking double lightsaber with the Ruby Whelp, right? He's got a bird on a magic staff. He's generating mana, so that's gonna be a problem. Yeah, this is, look how close we are so far. This is definitely going to be close. He's got 13 blind on us. Holy crap. That is 50. That's what? 65% accuracy down. A decrease. Our accuracy is 55% right now. I'm so glad that the majority of our damage, I believe, comes from Blood Goober. Because we are... Look at that. Miss. Miss. Hit him again. Oh, we actually hit that time. And that time. Wow. I guess, uh, I guess we're getting kind of lucky. It sucks to be... Oh, no. There's the misses. And he's dead. I'm actually going to look at that. Where did our damage come from? It actually came from the Claws of Attack. No, it didn't. It came from Blood Goober. <laughs> I have to scroll up a little bit. Majority of damage, yep, definitely came from the Blood Goober. Which, honestly, I feel like that's really, really good. Versus, hey, wow, look at that. Look at that. Versus uh, just relying on the Claws of Attack for DPS, right? So let's go ahead and sell you. Actually, we might have enough space to keep him on, right? Um, We need a little bit more because we need to combine those two, right? So we can find just a little bit more space. Or we could just sell things. I mean, that's also an option that we have. Um, but I do want that. And we might as well buy the Corrupted Crystal. Just because it just helps. And it's only one slot. We'll reserve that. And get ourselves a little bit more crit chance. Which I believe this also helps with accuracy. So that helps a lot, actually. Let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, no. You are a garlic. I need you to be a cause of attack. Let's go ahead and combine them. We're eventually going to sell this because I need the space. Or we could just tilt it like that and just have the space. So that helps as well. And we can put you back, put the Corrupted Crystal down. And we kind of just don't have enough space for anything. So we'll sell you and I'd rather have the blind. Honestly, let's buy you, put you there. That helps a lot. We can re-roll and uh, let's get ourselves a stamina pack because we're going to need it. Kind of. I don't think we need the stamina, but we definitely need slots. So that's for sure. So this guy's rocking, was it triple dashes with the hammer? But he does have Tim. 66% chance to steal a random debuff. He does have Tim, so that's a thing. He's also got Mr. Snuggles on the hammer. I don't know what he's doing with the Goober, because I, 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 I be me personally. I'd rather have my Goober being used with the daggers, personally. I don't know what he's doing with the Goober down there, or up there, rather. But he's got a bunch of food. We're definitely out DPSing him. I don't think he's going to last, bro. I, I'm pretty sure we're taking this one home, for sure. It's just a matter of time. Come on, keep it coming. Keep it coming. A little bit more. Come on, boom, boom. Oh, there goes his uh, invulnerability. I did not see that book there. Uh, he, he might last a little bit longer than I, thought I expected, but uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Fate T's kicking in. We got the crystal on us, and he's dead. <laughs> nice little shield hit at the end to seal the deal. Boom. Combine that. Turn that to the side, and um, we can buy this along with some slots. And hopefully, we can get some more hands just to get another one of these, because... Why not? I mean, why not, I guess? And um, honestly, we could maybe make this a little bit better in a way. We could potentially, let's see here. Let's move this actually over here. I had no clue I put you on that. Sorry, sir. And then we could use that. And then our corrector crystal could be a little bit faster. Um, now, as for, yeah, we can move that there. Boom, boom, and boom. And um, that's looking pretty solid but it could be better this could be a little bit better have the fanny pack activated on the crystal as well so now that is a 30 percent faster i believe and uh yeah do we need more we kind of just need more slots Let's see what else we can get i wouldn't mind getting me a second crystal could help oh look at this guy that's gonna be a lot of shield and he's also got the dark saber with the ripsaw blade that's gonna be harsh he's got this guy which uh 20 percent life chance out of stamina excuse me Oh no, this is bad. This is actually bad. I should have sold. I should have sold the shovel. I should have definitely sold the shovel. 
All right. Note to self, uh, four claws of attack is a little bit too much stamina that we can handle because we're not doing DPS to this guy at all. Look at that. Definitely not. We're going to have to rely 100% on the Blood Goober along with Fatigue in order to win this battle. And I believe the only reason why we're even above health right now is because of the Vampiric Armor. I mean, that's the only reason. If we look at our damage log, Blood Goober is doing a lot of damage. Pretty much double the amount of the uh, Claws of Attack so far. Which is insane. Fatigue's kicking in. Um, we got 14 poison on us. I did not know he did poison damage. He used all his potions already, though, so I still think we're going to take this home. Thankfully, because of the Blood Goober. And we're definitely selling the shovel after this. We need the stamina. Sorry, shovel. You have done us great deeds, my friend, but um, you can no longer do that. <laughs> no more. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and buy this just for space, just to do it, so we can, you know, get a full little slotch going on. And um, I guess we could just combine those two, get a little bit of poison. And honestly, I don't really want any more items. I think we are solid. Um, unless we get some stamina potions, maybe another acorn. There we go. Love to see it. Give me some stamina potions. I'll take that. Just combine. Um, oh, this is actually the last round, so it doesn't even fucking matter. It doesn't even matter. All right, let's do this. This has got to be a W here. Oh, wow. All right, dude's got double blood thorns. He's got the stamina potions. He got a vampiric armor with the holy armor, 133 shield, and hella mana off the back. But on the bright side, for now, we took all of that down. He was at like 100, 150 something uh, uh, block, and now he's not. So that's a thing. But he might be out DPSing us, especially since we're running out of stamina really fast right now. There goes the second book of light. We're already down, so we're definitely losing so far. Oof. We took, what, 80 damage right there. That was insane. Yeah, that's, a, that's an L. <laughs> Nick says, that's an L, but um, good game, my friend. 56 to 60. Insane. 56 to 60. Look at that damage. It's because of the thorns. I didn't even think about that. Because of the spikes. He had, what, four? Four pineapples. Four pineapples. That's the majority where his damage came from, because he didn't have anything for vampirism. Even though he had 18, which I don't know where... Oh, because these turn into vampirism as well. Or convert the uh, the regeneration into vampirism. Um, damn. Good game, though. Nice build.